hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old there thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new content today i'm going to show you how to design a backdrop banner so let's dive into photoshop now i'm going to input the number which you will see on the screen here So, input the number, then leave the resolution at 300, then you create. So, this is our background. Now, I'm going to enter the solid color. So here is the code I'm going to use for the color. Then OK. Now the next thing is to import the logo I'm going to use. I just create this logo for this tutorial so you can look for something different something that you can use for your designing Then drag it forward over here, then leave it at this position for now. Then I'm going to type a test here and the font I'm going to use is Poppins. Then drag it down, then decrease the font. Then take it over here at the middle. Then zoom, always zoom in and zoom out to see how it is. Then rotate it this way. Then I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl J, then you drag it down. Ctrl Z Okay, leave it this way Use your arrow key to bring it down Then rotate it a bit then I'm preposition it. Then scale this one out. Reposition it the way it will be better for you. Using the arrow key. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate it, Ctrl J, then hold your Shift key and drag it. I'm going to leave it at this position. Then duplicate it again, Ctrl J. Then hold your shift key and drag it over here again.
Continue to duplicate it until you reach the end of it. Now, take it over here, then I'm going to remove one of these, then with the re you can see the remaining space over there, I'm going to duplicate this test, then and drag it over there. So now it is arranged according to the way it is from the beginning. Now I'm going to group all this one. All right. So as you can see now, I'm going to cut out from this area. Okay, you can see the area I mark now, then to the end, duplicate it, then you drag it up. Then I'll move it over this position. You can see how it is now. So. Alright, now I'm going to duplicate this one again. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out from this test over here. The test I select, I'm going to cut from that place, then duplicate it. Ctrl J, then I will move, move it, hold your shift key and drag. Okay, now I'm going to group this one again. So the arrangement is okay now. So I will select the both of them and duplicate it. Then hold your shift key. Then you drag it down. Allow it to load. Now, here it is. So, you can apply more space as you want if you need a space, or if you want to. If you need a space and you want to apply more spaces, you can do it the way you want so that it will not be too close the way you see this one. So continue to duplicate and arrange them in order. So now when you do your own, let me know under the comment section or you can post on my social media so that I will see how your own is. I would like to see your own more better than this one. So the last one now, 
duplicate it again ctrl j then you drag it down and allow it to load so now you can see it all right thank you very much for watching remember do your own and let me see how it's going to come out and let me know on my social media don't forget to make a comment and share thanks